Coach Tony here with day three of our meditation series. For today, I'm going to back off, give you less guidance, give you more room to be with yourself rather than listening to my voice. But don't worry, I'll say enough that you know I'm still here and uh, you know when the meditation is over. It should be about five minutes. Um, and the goal of giving you more space is so that you end up self-sufficient, right? You don't need me to be guiding you in a meditation every day. You can guide yourself. So start by settling in somewhere comfortable. The thing we say here is comfort over ritual. However you sit is fine as long as you think you can sit that way for the next five minutes. Close your eyes and start with the sound scan. Just try to notice each and every sound around you. Very good. Now move on to a body scan. Work your way from the very top of your head all the way down through your body to the feeling of your feet touching the ground. Try to notice every itch, ache, temperature as you work your way through your body. Good. How do your feet feel touching the ground? Good. Now, move on to the heart of our meditation. You're going to breathe, counting the in-breath as one, the out-breath as two. Breathe all the way up to a 10 count. When you get to 10, start over again at one. If you forget your count, just start over again at one. And what we're hoping is that your mind is going to wander, which is going to allow you the opportunity to do a mental push-up. The first half of the push-up is curiosity, where you acknowledge what is the thought that you're having? What, you know, what is the thought that your mind wandered to? And then once you've acknowledged that thought, you put the thought down and you bring your focus back to your breath and to counting your breath. That's the other half. So if you acknowledge a thought and bring your focus back to your breath, that's one push-up.
good. Take two more big, deep breaths. Now you can open your eyes. And our meditation for today is done. Okay, let's do our discussion for the third meditation. You had more room to run this meditation yourself, although I still gave some of the structure. Can you imagine yourself doing this meditation somewhere else? So one of the really common types of questions from people who meditate is they ask their teacher, am I doing it right? And one of the things that I really stress in the way that we teach meditation is that meditation is flexible. So the question, am, am I doing it right, is doesn't really matter. I don't want to say that you're wrong for asking it, but I want to uh, emphasize for you that you don't need to ask it. That uh, meditation should be considered very flexible. And I gave you a system that there are a bunch of ways to flex. Uh, what if you're in a hurry? We just meditated for five minutes, but maybe you only have three minutes. Well, then you could drop the sound scan. You could drop the body scan. Um, you know, we did uh, a count of, I counted in my head to about 30, which, you know, you weren't aware of. I just, but that led me to about the five minute mark. And, uh, you know, is there something magic about that count? No. Uh, if you really don't have time one day, I would be happier for you to do a five count without a body scan, without the sound scan, and just re uh, remind yourself what it is to meditate and keep the consistency. Uh, that would you know, probably, for most of us, be better than nothing. And that's what I mean, that that short five breath meditation is not wrong. It's um, adjusted for the situation you're in. And we'll get to other situations where you know, what do you do when you meditate on a train? How do you protect your bag from being stolen while your eyes are closed, right? I mean, that says that you can't meditate with your, you know, your perfect, you know, hand position because you gotta, you gotta tie yourself into the bag. Um, how you sit. I mean, generally lying down is, people will say, it's not, it's not the wrong way to meditate. It's more, it's impractical impractical. A lot of people who meditate lying down just end up falling asleep. So they don't get the mental push-ups in. Um, but if you were able to meditate lying down and you got the mental push-ups in, then more power to you. So as, as I start giving you more space and I start saying less, just really feel confident or know that I'm confident in your ability to figure it out and change it for your own perspective. All right, we're going to do um, another meditation tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing you then.